Ford, one of the largest and oldest automakers in the world, is facing a major dilemma. The company is struggling to cope with the rising labor costs, the fierce competition, and the changing consumer preferences in the U.S. market. To survive and thrive, Ford is considering a radical and controversial move. Today, we will explore why the company is shifting some of its production from the U.S. to Mexico. Why is Ford furious with the UAW? Ford's CEO, Jim Farley, is frustrated and angry with the United Auto Workers, the union of most U.S. workers, and plans to relocate some production to Mexico. The UAW wants higher wages, better benefits, more job security, and a larger profit share. Ford wants to lower its labor costs, which are the highest in the industry. The Center for Automotive Research says Ford pays $1.61 per hour in wages and benefits to U.S. workers, while GM pays $53, Toyota $50, and Honda $44. The UAW refuses to compromise and threatens to strike if Ford does not agree. The UAW has already struck at several Ford plants, affecting the production of profitable models like the Explorer, the Expedition, and the F-Series Super Duty. These strikes have cost Ford millions in revenue and hurt its reputation. Farley is unhappy with the UAW and may move some production to Mexico, where labor is cheaper and non-unionized. We can't make unprofitable vehicles in the US, Farley said. We need other options, and Mexico is one. It is not shared much about this project, but it may work with another automaker, maybe Toyota. Ford is assessing the advantages and disadvantages of moving these new models to Mexico and looking for the best trade-off between cost and quality, risk and reward, and short-term and long-term goals. It is also seeking the input and feedback of its stakeholders, such as its workers, customers, dealers, suppliers, and regulators, and trying to meet their needs and expectations. It is also watching and studying its rivals, like BYD and Tesla, and trying to beat them in the EV market what it could mean for Ford. Ford's decision to relocate some of its manufacturing to Mexico may have considerable and lasting effects on the firm and the sector. On the one hand, Ford may enjoy the advantages of reduced costs, increased profits, and improved efficiency and flexibility. Moreover, Ford may tap into a huge and expanding market in Mexico and Latin America, where the demand for EVs is projected to rise in the future. Additionally, Ford may benefit from its current and new alliances with other car makers and suppliers in Mexico, such as Volkswagen and LG, to boost its innovation and collaboration. Ford's plan to move some of its production to Mexico is tentative and subject to change based on the investigation and the negotiation with the U.S. authorities and the unions. Yet it shows Ford's readiness and willingness to transform its EV business and operations, take some risks, and face some consequences. Ford's move to Mexico is a complex and consequential decision that will have a significant impact on the future of the company, its workers, and its customers. In order to survive and thrive in a tough and competitive environment, Ford needs to adapt and innovate its products and processes. However, this move also poses a difficult and controversial dilemma for Ford, as it has to balance and reconcile its interests and values with those of its stakeholders. Therefore, Ford is at a crossroads, and it has to make a wise and strategic choice that will determine its fate. What is your opinion on Ford's move? Should it stay in the U.S. or move to Mexico? Why or why not? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. And that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. We have more amazing videos coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you next time.